Well, hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to Image Coffee. We are here representing our travel espresso setup. Uh, we feel like we finally got it perfectly dialed in to where we don't have to compromise anything on our espresso setup. So I just wanna walk you through what we're doing. Uh, we're actually in Maui right now and we're gonna brew some espresso and we're gonna walk you through using the Flare Classic and some of the other little goodies that we've got going here. So first things first, um, you can do pre-ground. It will sacrifice flavor quite a bit and you're not gonna be able to get that same freshness. This product that we found with Soul Hand all-in-one grinder on Amazon is absolutely awesome. We're trying to get this available in our store. Not quite yet, but stay tuned for that. Um, in here, you've got a little lid on here. You've got another little cup on top, which is awesome. So this is actually gonna be to pull the water afterwards. This is a travel grinder that you actually charge with a battery and it's got an extra cup for you here. So this is also a little brewer. So if you wanna just do your pour over while you're going and not just do espresso, you've got a little pour over basket you can put on top, grind your coffee into it, brew water over and that's great. This comes off in there. It's basically just the same as a hand burr grinder, except for it's got a motor on it. So you can just set it while you're in the shower. It's slow, but it'll keep going in the background. Um, we are two settings off from the bottom and it's pulling great in this flare over here. So that's the grinder. We actually have some pre-ground for you so you don't have to sit here and wait and watch it. Um, the kettle, we're actually just using the kettle here at the hotel. So this right here, preheating the brew chamber is crucially important. This is the brew chamber that comes with the flare. This is your little plunger. So with each kettle, it's gonna be different, but one of the ways flare recommends preheating your brew chamber is by putting your brew chamber on your kettle while it's heating up the water and let that do the preheating for you. So this one we actually found right here, open it up, pop this guy right here. And then while it's heating, by the time your water's boiling, you actually have a brew chamber that's ready to go. So we're gonna make sure that's nice and hot. We're gonna set this back here. All right, well that's heating up. We're gonna go ahead and prep our shot over here. So first things first, this is your dosing funnel and this is your dosing cup. We're gonna use this to make sure we've got about 16 grams in. That's what we found has been working well. Like I said, I pre-ground the coffee right here for this consistency and we're gonna dose about 16 grams into this dosing cup right here. 10. Right at 16, I would went a little bit over, a little under. 16, exactly, perfect. So we're gonna do that. We're then gonna take our coffee and we're gonna put it inside here. All right, our water is ready to go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take out our coffee chamber here. We're gonna put this for the tamp. We're gonna fill this guy up. Oh, dosing funnel, important. Dosing funnel, we're gonna fill this guy up with all our coffee. Give it a nice little swirl. Then we're gonna knock it down nice and tight. Take off this. This is actually your tamper as well. So not only is it a dosing cup, but it is also your tamper. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this nice and level, push it down with about 20 to 30 pounds of force. Um, it's not super crucial. Just make sure you've got a nice good tamp on there. Polish it off. The tamper is slightly smaller than the chamber. So just make sure you don't have any loose grounds around the edge or you might get a little bit of over extraction and bitterness in that cup. We have this guy tamped down. We're gonna put this little screen on top set this guy back inside, and now we are ready for our brew chamber, which we're gonna go get right now. So, we're gonna pull this guy out. Careful, this is very, very hot. So we have this right here is our brew chamber that we're just gonna slip right on top. We have this, which is gonna be our plunger. We're going to very carefully pour in our water to that fill line on there. And there we go. You can wait for it to be off boil a little bit to get with the right temperature, um, but pretty close is all that matters. So. We're gonna get this plunger nice and tight there. We'll move this kettle so you guys can see. And then we are going to use, this is one of my cups that I got. It's got a little espresso cup on the top that you can use for your shots, but you do wanna measure out the weight. So we're gonna put our Akaya Lunar, which is an excellent scale. Set that there. We're gonna tear it out. And then this is gonna be where we put our iced coffee in afterwards as well. So first things first, a little bit of a pre-infusion. Make sure this thing's nice and tight there. So we're gonna do a little bit of a pre-infusion first. So we're gonna get that going, start our timer, let it wait for a little bit, and then we're gonna start pulling that shot, okay? So we're gonna put no more than 70 pounds of pressure, but you wanna put a little pressure until you see it start dripping. And then once it starts dripping, we're gonna crank it down a little bit more. There we go. And we're just gonna lean on it and get a nice, good, even pressure until we get that full extraction. There we go, nice and slow. This is a little slower than I would want it, so I might loosen up the grind just a little bit more, but it's still well within delicious drinkable espresso range. 
and we're gonna stop it. We put 16 in, so we're gonna stop it right about 32 grams because we want one in, two out. Perfect. All right, like I said, that was a little longer than I would have wanted, but that's okay. We can go ahead and put our catch right here so it can catch all the water that drips through there. And let's go ahead and give it a shot. Ooh, that is good. A, a slight bitterness just because it was a little slow, a little over extracted, but man, it's still so stinking good. For travel espresso, you guys, this is absolutely fantastic. So my drink of choice is an iced latte, just plain espresso and whole milk. Um, that's what we're gonna drink on vacation. So we just got a little half gallon of whole milk, pour it in here with some ice and you are set for vacation coffee wherever you go. Save yourself a little bit of money and make some excellent coffee on the go. So this is a quick tutorial of the Flare Classic as well as our travel setup. We hope you guys will stay tuned for more. See you in the next one.